Good morning. Today is Monday, 9th May. It is Lower School Week B. I am Fati. And I am ABS, and this is ACS Doha Live. So today's news is that MUN will be traveling in June to compete in Singapore. Good luck for preparing for the competition. We hope that you guys have a lot of fun. After school activities last sessions are this week, remind your parents the terms ASA and on 12th of May. And lower school top mathletes this week are Lucinda Chalinor with 4,000 points. And I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but Eva or Eva Hicks with 3,657 points. And uh, Ria Balog with 3,180 points. And congratulations to grade 5D. They are ranked 29th in the Middle East region. So good job, everybody, and keep up the good work. Also, the lower school talent show is coming up. Round two, intra house competitions will be held Thursday, 12th of May. To narrow down our talents from each house team, we can't wait to see the top talents from each class to complete, uh, to compete to represent their house. And here to join us today is a very special guest. We have Mr. Furness here to share his inspirational thoughts, and he is coming right now. Welcome, Mr. Fernandez. Hello, Avis. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm uh, fine, thank you. We're happy to have you here today. And um, we want to ask you, what do you like the most about ACS? Okay, now there's a, it's a big question with lots and lots of answers. Um, I would first like to think that it's the students themselves, because I don't think a, a set of buildings makes a school. It's the, 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 the lads and the lasses who are part of it. I do enjoy students who are not preoccupied with um, with, with, with just being like automatons, like robots. I want people who think for themselves, who are risk takers, who are balanced, who enjoy life as a whole. And I think we've got those kind of students here. Um, I especially like it when I walk around and I see students who show caring for others. Um, I think it's very important for us to understand we're a family. And even though not all of us get on very well with each other, it's important to know that families not always like each other, but they always support each other. That is yeah. certainly true, <laughs> yeah. And aside from the students, we have amazing faculty and staff as well that really help pull our community together, so I completely agree. Yeah, and that, that helps. It's very nice to have staff who are part and parcel of everything, who, who get, get down to looking after things, make sure that the students are having a fun time, making sure that uh, the approach to learning is inquiry and that everyone is, it, it's, it's not just going to a classroom copy out what's on the board, it's all interactive, participating, and of course students are really encouraged to say their mind, speak their mind, to say things that they mightn't do in, in other schools, because that's part of the IB, the IB situation, where students are able to be critical and they're able to analyse, they've got a point of view, a perspective, and they're able to share that with people. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for it's sharing pleasure. those Thank you for inviting me, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you for coming on, and we hope that you all have a very lovely day, and up next we have sports. Bye! Good morning, I'm Natalie. And I'm Lucinda. And this is the sports for today. Today is the under eight and under nine Cups to Swim Gala. Good luck to all the swimmers today. And middle high school table tennis team goes to EMS um, Doha on Tuesday the 10th of May for a match. Swim sessions are still um, going strong. Some upcoming swim events are May 11th, under six, under seven Cups to Gala. May 13th, Qatar Foundation, an all age swim gala. Also, May 15th to 19th is the final week of swim training for our lower school students. And all middle, high school, um, all middle school students and some selected lower school students will continue training until the MSQUESS galas, which are on Wednesday, June 1st for boys and Thursday, June 2nd for girls. And up next is Book Talk. Bye. Good morning everyone and welcome to Book Talk. I'm Nivea and today we're joined by Neela from One Seed to talk about her favorite books. Hi Neela, how are Hi. you? So would you like to tell everyone about your book? 
Yeah. So, what is the name of it? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> so, um, would you like to tell everyone why you like this book so much? Well, I like this book because um, they have weather and we were learning about weather in our class. Oh, wow. And I know that there's a movie on this book. Have you watched it? Do you think you like that one? No, no, we didn't watch it. Oh, okay. So, would you like to share everyone your favorite part of this yeah. book? This is my favorite part. All right, and who would you recommend this book to? Everyone. Really? Yeah. So it's a really interesting book? Yeah. Okay, I'm so glad. And it's great to see that younger students are getting into the habit of reading. And I do encourage it because it's a great habit to keep. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's book talk. And thank you, Neil, for joining us today. That was fun. Thank you. And up next, let's go to local weather. <laughs> Hello, I'm Zian. And I'm Afia. And here's the weather for today. So the current temperature is 31 degrees Celsius. Today will be partly cloudy all day and warm with 31 degrees percent humidity. The high today will be 38 degrees Celsius. As always, drink plenty of water and st to stay hydrated. Wear your sunscreen and a hat. And of course, have a wonderful day.